projected track for Hurricane Dorian. Again, this is a Category 5 storm right now over the Bahamas. Sustained winds of 185 miles an hour. Forecast cone still shows that storm can make landfall in Florida, Georgia, or the Carolinas. I know Sean's been talking about this is a very dangerous storm. Uh, it is, and it's a tough forecast, too, because yeah. there's some solutions that keep the core of the wind offshore, okay. but then there's some solutions that bring it onshore and bring uh, extreme uh, damage potential to the coast of Florida. Wow. So uh, a very fine line between uh, catastrophic and tropical storm force conditions. Which is why we watch it. That's right. You're going to have to. And Chuck's down there in Jacksonville as well. Uh, here's what's going on locally. I want you to be aware that we do have a few thunderstorms. It's a low chance, but there is a chance south of 70. There's enough moisture. There's uh, enough a uh, little spin that a few funnel clouds are possible south of 70. We've noticed a few of these uh, have rotated a little bit in southwest Indiana. And uh, as we go over into Illinois, we actually had a funnel cloud uh, earlier across uh, southeastern uh, sections of Illinois as well. And I've circled the zone that would have the chance of that happening there. You see that little twist that's uh, kind of moved through uh, this morning that brought us the uh, showers and thunderstorms here uh, that we had this morning. What we see this afternoon and this evening, uh, we'll be on the spotty side. 78 in Indy, 83 in Bloomington, 84 in Bedford, and 81 right now this hour in Terre Haute. Uh, here's the breakdown for downtown right now. Uh, we see a little partial sunshine, 78 with a dew point of 64. So it's not impressive humidity. Uh, and it'll certainly get better as we move through the days ahead. Here's future track 13. So some spotty downpours, rumbles of thunder as we go through the uh, evening hours. Things should settle down overnight tonight. And we wake up uh, to a little patchy fog in the morning. And then eventually we're going to get into some good sunshine here. Your Labor Day forecast looks like it's a dry one. Real slim chance we see anything tomorrow. High of about 84 degrees. So we're back to where we should be. And then as we play through time, we'll have another front coming down the pike here. It will not arrive, however, until the middle part of the week. And that means when we get into Tuesday, Tuesday is going to be a warm day. In fact, some backyards could come close to hitting 90 degrees on Tuesday. So that's what we're forecasting right now. We got it about 88 there. Look at the wind from the southwest up to 30 miles per hour. And if we do see anything in terms of storms, it would be very late Tuesday, more likely after dark. But a potential that a few of those may hold their own uh, as we get into late Tuesday. All right, let's get to Dorian here. This is the visible satellite imagery. From a meteorological perspective, fascinating to watch. But it breaks your heart because you know that it is causing extreme damage as it moved over uh, the Abacos Islands here. And it's just going to really, really uh, impact uh, lives and uh, structures down there in the Bahamas. This is what will happen as we play through time with Future Track 13. It is going to be a slow moving system. Does it make a turn to the north or does it get into uh, the coastline of Florida? That is yet to be determined. All of those possibilities remain in play with that latest track that we were showing you. And we'll keep tabs with Chuck, too, as well. He's in Jacksonville, as I mentioned. That will be somewhere around Wednesday if it takes that projected course. So here's your seven-day forecast now. We'll go from 88 on Tuesday. Look at the string of cool days, several mornings in the 50s and very autumn-like as we head into next weekend.